Okay, so you're trying to conditional format a line chart, but you don't know how. This is the video for you. Let me show you how to do it. I have shown you in previous videos how to kind of conditional format a line chart. So we've conditional format in Marex, we've conditional format with a slicer, but now we're going to conditional format the actual line. And we're going to do it with no other than articulator. What could it be? Okay, so this is what we're going to recreate. Let's go to a normal chart. This has been done with a normal line chart. If you have Charticular installed, make sure you re-download it because it changes all the time. So once you've done that, come back, click on Charticulator and let's start creating. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, move the things where they should supposed to be here. And now the first thing that we need to do is to create the line chart. So a line chart, you put the axis first, your month and then the sales. Give them some place, space, and then what you do is you put uh, circles and then you join the circles with what is called in particular a link. You find them here, link, you can see that it's joining the, the um, dots and then we can hide the dot, we don't need it anymore. Once we have this, we can now conditional format the line. In particular, you can format a lot of stuff, not everything yet, but almost everything is so cool. So we're going to conditional format the link. So you can see here that you can change the color, but you can change it by one color or you can actually change the color by a field. So cool. When you drop it in, it will get a gray scale, but you can change that. So you can see here that it gives you an array of different scales. So you color schemas that you can choose. So I'm going to choose the spectrum and then we're going to make the line a little bit bigger so you can actually, you know, see the power. You can see it here. Now, if you zoom a little bit, you can see that it's actually lines connected to dots. Not super pretty and there's no way to smooth. You can actually use like different types, but none of them is going to do what you want. So what I've done is I got the symbol back, make it a little bit smaller, not that one, that's cool. This, the symbol, we're going to make it like 20 perhaps, and then we're going to color it too, you know, with the field the way we did before. And particularly by default, we choose the color pattern that you've already chosen. So as you can see, it pick it correctly. It's perhaps a little bit too big. Let's do it a little bit too small. I don't want to see the circle, I just want to smooth the lines. Okay, now that we've done that, it's just normal. Um, we're going to change the color to a grayish color, both for the X and the Y axis, so it looks like a Power BI chart. I wish Chart Killer would have that by default, but they don't yet. So for the Y axis, we're going to actually have the thousand formatter. So on the tick format, we're going to use this is the the um, D3 notation for how to format numbers. So you do comma if you want the comma dot 1s and then we're going to have a grid line too. I think it looks quite cool it's on the y-axis. So we're going to put the dash and if you zoom in you see that it's on top. We don't want that. We want it on the back like that save and there you have it i mean how long it took like two minutes to do it's so so cool i would love to smooth the um, the corner so i've asked the particular team for that as a feature on their github repository you can do that too if you want to add features there and so cool so cool so this is all from me i will see you again on thursday Probably. Okay.